Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see how we can able to add RGS Pro data into Google Earth Pro. Okay, so how to convert RGS Pro file into KML file format that we're going to see. Suppose you are having any file, okay, like a polygon file or a point file or a line file. Okay, just right click and zoom to layer. So you will see I'm having some data set. So these are polygon features. Also, I'm having line feature and point feature. So whatever you want to convert into KML file that we can able to convert and we can able to add this file into Google Earth Pro. So how to convert this? So like I'm having this map, this is in polygon file format. So what we can able to do, we can able to go to geoprocessing tool, okay? So you just need to go to view geoprocessing tool. If you want to add a data to here, then you can able to add from the catalog. Okay, what are the data you want to add? You just right click and zoom to layer. So after that, you can able to see the data set. What are the data set you will add here? I have already added. So I will just remove from here and just click on zoom to layer. So this I want to add in Google Earth Pro. So just click on the geoprocessing from here, geoprocessing. Go to toolbox. There is a conversion tool option is there, conversion tool. In the conversion tool, we need to convert this file into KML file format, into KML file format. So just from conversion tool KML, I'm interested to convert this layer to KML. Okay, just click on the layer to KML. Here we need to select the file, which I want to convert. So here I will select the geomorphology file. So in which folder you want to save this, that folder we need to select here. So I will select a folder and here I will choose this folder KML. You can also create a new folder if you want. So I will save here. That is Geomorph KML. Then just click on the save. And after that, just we need to provide an input file and then after that, output file and just click on the run. So this file is converting. So now we can able to see it is successfully converted. Now we'll go to the folder where we are working. So this is my KML folder in that this file I have converted. So I'll just double click. After that, automatically it will go to the location where the file is belong. Now you can able to see the similar file we have added in Google. So now you can able to see the, if you right click, I tap, now you can able to see anthropogenic origin or whatever the color you have provided according to that it accurately it came the same color okay so this way very easily we can able to add any file in google Earth pro so now you can able to see the structural origin is there then this is the water bodies if i'll click here and now if i'll check and check then you can able to see the water body below so any file you can able to convert, I have shown here just this file. Again, if you are having any line file feature, okay. So just right click zoom to layer. So this is nothing but a role file. And uh, you just need to change here file name, then output location. I will save in the same folder. And just click on run. And I will again go to the folder. And just click on the road. So now it went to the same location where this file is belong. Okay. So this way very easily we can able to convert any file. Now you can able to change the color of this if you want to change color or anything. Then go to properties, style layer. Okay. So just increase the width, change the color. 
so it is very easy to convert any file point line or polygon into kml file if you are having any doubts you can just ask me in the comment sections thank you